Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Exora and today's video I'll go ahead and showcase the brand new Halloween event that has just been released on Exora. Now before we get into that, I just want to announce a juicy giveaway of 100 store credits. The first tw uh, 20 credits will go to the first commenter on today's video, so definitely make sure to turn on those notifications. And then the other 80 credits will be split between two winners winning 40 of these credits each. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. The winners will be picked in just about two days. As always, they will be announced in my community Discord, in the service Discord, and on my pinned comment. The links of the Discords are down below in the description, so definitely make sure to join those. Now to start off, as you can see, the complete home area has been redone to have a nice little Halloween feel to it. You have the barricades to make it look a little bit creepy. You have the skeletons right there, the dead trees, the ghosts coming up, and then of course the pumpkins all around, which make this zone look absolutely amazing. Now, uh, moving on from that, they also added a few other things combined with the Halloween event to start off the Adventures Log. You have Maggie's book right here, which is a brand new Adventures Log that you will be able to check out. Um, so pretty much in this Adventures Log, you will find some things that you have to complete. Each of these things that you complete, you will get yourself a Halloween mystery box and Halloween tokens. Now, this is a limited event book. You can only complete it during the Halloween event, which will last until the 3rd of November, if I am correct. Now, to start off, you have to complete Maggie's quest, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute. You'll get a Halloween mystery box and 2,500 Halloween tokens for that. You can also defeat monsters at the Nightmare Zone, which will once again give you Halloween mystery box and some halloween tokens defeat general jack which is a brand new global boss and then also defeat the exorian nightmare 10 times and for all of these you will get yourself a halloween mystery box and a bunch of these halloween tokens now to start maggie's quest you'll have to type colon colon halloween and you'll be teleported to this location right here if you go a little bit to the east you'll find maggie and you can go ahead and talk to her now i already started the quest but pretty much you have to go through the chat and then you'll be able to tell her that you want to help and then she will tell you that you will need to collect 25 zombie heads 25 skeleton legs and 25 ghostly essence now you get those by killing some of the NPCs in here. As you can see, you will have the NPCs with a H in brackets next to the name. Those will drop the pieces that you will need. So for example, the crazy zombie and the Jack skeleton, and then of course the Ripper zombie. Um, and you also have the ghost right here. Those will all drop the required items. So you just go ahead and kill these until you have 25 of each, and then you can move on with the quest. Right, so once you have collected 25 of each of those, you go back to Maggie and you say you have the supplies. And with that, you uh, complete the Halloween quest and you get yourself one of the Halloween mystery boxes. Now, if we check out the loot on these mystery boxes, you have the Nightmare Armor set, you have the Gen Busted Jack Pad, you have the Halloween Trinket and you also have the General's Jack armor set right here with a bunch of other things that you can go ahead and get now you can also go ahead and buy these in the credit store at the limited item section because these will only be limited edition until the halloween event is over i'm going to save up all my halloween mystery boxes until the end uh, so i can go ahead and claim every single one from these uh, from the adventure log as well now in the middle of the Halloween area or the new Nightmare Dungeon as you would call it. By the way, you can also get to here if you click on Dungeons, Nightmare Event. Um, but this will also be the Nightmare Dungeon. I believe this might remain in Exora. At least the Exorian Nightmare Boss might remain in Exora. So pretty much top 5 players who deal damage to this boss will be able to receive loot. If we examine it, we can see that he'll drop the Exorian Nightmare Pet, of course, the complete Nightmare Armor set as well. With that, a Shadow Ripper Tier 1. Now, you can also go ahead and upgrade this into a Tier 2 and Tier 3, I believe. And some other really good drops from here. So, I'll have to go ahead and kill 10 anyways in order to be able to complete the Adventures Log. So, let's go ahead and do that right now. Oh wow, we just got ourselves an additional Halloween mystery box as a drop at Kill Country from one of these Skeleton Rippers. That's actually super lucky. So I just finished my 10th Exorian Nightmare, which means that is another part of the Adventures log that has been completed. If I move on, I also defeated 100 monsters in the Nightmare Zone, meanwhile, while I was waiting for the respawn. The only thing that's left is General Jack, which of course is the global boss. Now, he only spawns once every 3 hours, so I still have 37 minutes to wait until he spawns, but 
Once he spawns, I'll definitely go ahead and do that. Meanwhile, let's talk about these Halloween tokens that you can get by just killing NPCs at the Halloween zone. Also by completing, of course, um, the um, adventure log tasks that I just did. And then you can use them on the shop right here at the home area with Brother Jack. Now, as you can see right here, there are a bunch of things that you can get. You can get the Halloween mystery boxes. You can get these um, pumpkin treats pretty much. Now, I'll explain a little bit about these. These are pretty much um, foods which will give you a buff. For example, this bowl of pumpkin treats will allow you to feed your pet without required food, which is really nice. The uh, bubbly blue drink acts as an overload and it disappears on one sip. However, this is stackable, so you can pretty much bring 10 and you'll be overloading every single time. Then you have the caramel candy apple right here, which will increase your experience by 10% uh, for 5 minutes. The eyeball, eyeball gummies, which will increase your um, Halloween tokens that you gain from the Nightmare Zone by 10% as well for 5 minutes. And then you have the wiggly worm cake here as well, which will increase your drop rate by 0.10% for 5 minutes. Now besides that, you have a bunch of these new items here, for example, the Halloween Trinket, which increases the Halloween tokens gained by 25% when killing monsters in the Nightmare Zone. Now this does cost quite a lot of them. Then you have the General Busted Jack Pet right here, which will increase your drop rate by 0.25% as well. This will also cost quite a lot of tokens, same with the Exorian Nightmare Pet, which will increase drop rate by 0.15%. Then you have the giant shadow hand pet as well, which is a, a uh, NPC that you can go ahead and kill in the nightmare zone. And this one will give you an increased 0.10% drop rate chance. Then you have the shadow pumpkin mask, which is a cosmetic, the Majora's mask. You have the pyramid helmet and the spooky cape right here. All of these are cosmetics. You have the skeleton throne, which pretty much you can apply this. And when you rest with your resting animation, you will basically sit on a skeleton throne, which is super sick. Moving on from that, you have General Jack, Plate Body and Plate Legs. These are melee equipment pieces and they have stats, but they are mostly for the transmog purposes. And then you still have the Nightmare outfit here as well from the Exor uh, Exorian Nightmare that you can kill. And of course, to finish it off, you have Jack Sword, you have Shadow Ripper Tier 1 and also the Executioner Blade. Now the Shadow Reaper can um, be upgraded at the Titan Forge. So as you can see right here at the Titan Forge, you have the Shadow Re uh, Ripper Tier 2 and also the Tier 3. Of course, these look super sick and um, I wish I could showcase this um, in-game to you guys, but unfortunately I can't because I didn't get them as a drop, but those look really sick. So if you can get your hands on those, definitely try to upgrade them because those look super awesome. So as you can see in the chat, Elderwood Hagarum has found, but also General Jack. Now the server decided to go to Hagarum first, but in a minute I'll go to General Jack and show you guys all the um, combat styles and combat mechanics that the global boss has. Now there are quite a few interesting ones, but I'll showcase all of those whenever I'm in the fight. So of course this boss has its own mechanics and makes this a little bit harder. He can drop your prayers as you can see right there, which means you will have zero prayer points left. And he has 150,000 HP, which of course is quite a lot. So there is a high chance that I will actually be dying uh, during this fight. Now besides that, there is one mechanic that he will spawn a bunch of the Halloween NPCs at 50% HP. Once all of those are killed, he'll do a trick or treat mechanic and spawn a bunch of um, the candies on the floor. So as you can see now, he has spawned a bunch of these NPCs. Once again, they are at half HP, so they shouldn't take too long to kill at all. And once all of these are done, he will spawn all the candies that will give all the players a bunch of benefits. So let's see, whenever all of them die, we should be able to get the trick or treat. As you can see, all of the candies are now spawned on the floor here. And you pretty much can use all of these to get yourself the benefits that they um, give, which is super sick. Just make sure to loot all of them so you don't lose out on any. And uh, with that, of course, you can use them for any scenario you would like. Anyways, here we go. We should be able to finish off General Jack in just a second. And then he'll spawn back in about three hours. So the, uh, the global boss will spawn once every three hours, just as a heads up. Now, if we examine the boss, oh, I just missed it. We could see all the drops that he could give. We can get these Halloween tokens as a drop, of course, from the global boss as well. But pretty much he has a lot of sick drops, including all of the Halloween event items. So yeah, definitely make sure to kill the boss once it's up so you can go ahead and get lucky maybe on one of those items. 
But with that, of course, we finished the full adventures log. So let's go ahead and open up all six of these Halloween mystery boxes now to see what we will be able to get in total. And hopefully we can get ourselves some of these sick rewards. We just got ourselves a demon totem. Now the totems is another thing that we'll be talking about in just a second because I haven't actually mentioned it yet. Now there are a bunch of tokens that you will be able to get from the mystery box or from killing the NPCs in the night, uh, yeah, in the nightmare zone. For example, the demon token as I just got, but you can also get other tokens. Um, you can get yourself, let's see if I can find any, I can't see them right there. But if I scroll down, you can get yourself the vampire sigil, the skull artifact, and I believe some others as well. So the large monster egg and the well-kept bones are also some of the totems that you will be able to get. Um, that is the caramel candy apple. Let's see. Come on. At least give me one lucky drop. That would be super nice to see I'm um, getting some more of these candies Which unfortunately aren't that useful at all at the moment because I want to showcase some of the rare rewards Nightmare wings would have been so sick if I would have been able to get that But unfortunately I got two cosmetic skeleton leggings and grim reaper hood so for the totems or emblems, I'm actually showcasing the update post on the forums to make this a little bit more clear. So emblems are a way for players to get more Halloween tokens while grinding out the Nightmare Dungeon. They have a 1% chance to drop from monsters in the area and they will also uh, they will only drop once Maggie's quest has been completed. Now the emblems can be cut uh, with chisels to in return to get some more Halloween tokens and you will, notify, you will be notified when an emblem drops. So the demon totem, the one that I just got from the mystery box, is actually one of the better ones, even the best one. So you can get 2,500 to 5,000 Halloween tokens from that. And then all the way down to the large monster egg, which is the worst one out of those. And you will be able to get 500 to 1,000 Halloween tokens from that. Now moving down for all the Halloween candies, so the uh, things you can get from the actual NPCs in Nightmare Zone as well, so the consumables, you can get them through the Halloween Mystery Box or General Jack or the Nightmare Monsters as I just mentioned, and these also give you a certain effect. So I already went over most of them when I was checking out the shop, here is a list of them once again. The ball of pumpkin is actually super sick, so I didn't eat, uh, well, I'm not even able to showcase this in the game because I don't have the ball of pumpkin treats, but as you can see, whenever you consume one of them, you will be able to feed your pet without actually needing the food, so that is super sick. Moving down from that, here you have all the other ones explained as well. Um, you can also get the spooky cape as a cosmetic right here, which looks super sick. Moving on from that, these are all the items that you can just get through the um, Halloween token shop. Then you have General De Jack, which is the brand new pet in here. So pretty much this is the food required to level it up. These are the stats of the actual pet and you can of course level the pet up. Now what's also new, and this isn't about the Halloween um, event, but this is a new update, is that you will be able to put a ring and enchantment slot to upgrade your pets as well now, which is super sick. Uh, with that, of course, your pet will be able to have more damage increasements or other, um, other benefits that you will be able to use with your pet. But anyways, that's going to be all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway and definitely make sure to check out this awesome Halloween event on Exora. I gotta say, they did an amazing job with the quest line, with all the custom zones, the custom bosses, and of course, the beautiful new custom sets. As always, Exora is on top with next level models. But with all that said, I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.